Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, I'm do back. Y'all, do y'all know her? We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are rehomers of stuff in Lincoln, Nebraska. Wow. You took my line. <laughs> I've, been, I've been meaning to do that for a while. <laughs> Took my life. We are resellers, full time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Rehomers of stuff. <laughs> yes. And Donna was uh, gone for the last couple of videos. She is back now. It is Monday, it is Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to everybody. Happy um, Memorial Day. Hope everyone is taking a minute to remember all of those who served and uh, lost their lives in the field of service. The field of service, all right? That may not be right. Anyway, happy Memorial Day. But we. I, okay, I don't like to, whenever Monday's a holiday, any holiday, and the post office is closed, a lot of times, like, we take Monday off from shipping, and it really messes up the rest of the week, and then instead of shipping Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I ship Tuesday, Tuesday. Thursday, Saturday, and that just messes everything up, so <laughs> I asked Donna if she's willing to work today a little bit and film video, and so I could do my shipping today just to keep everything kind of on track. And I couldn't wait to get back to work, because I've been off so long yeah we're not actually taking the day off at all she's going to get back to work and i'm going to do this and then i'm going to make another video after this this is going to be kind of a two-part video Ooh, that's why we'll have the same clothes on yeah <laughs> anyway we had some we guys we had some awesome awesome oh sales over the weekend we can't wait to show them to you and we have a couple things that sold that are I would say a, more of a challenge to ship, and that's why that's the reason we're going to do a second video. I'm actually going to do another shipping video after this. But uh, let's get into this. We got about, I think, 18 things. Sounds right. Sounds right. <laughs> I don't know. 18 things to ship. So we're going to pull the orders and get it all out here for you to see, and hopefully we'll get to color some more on the board. Yay. Donna, did you see my coloring job? Are you okay with my coloring job? Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> I it guess. looks awesome. I'll take sure. That's all right. All right, cool. Let's get into this. All right, first of all, Donna, in box 33. 33. With my markers. Hopefully you'll need them, but I don't know yes. yet. Box 33, there's a Diablo Tech Ooh. power That's kind of heavy. Yeah, right there. It's a computer thing. Whoopsies. I'm not that smart. It's upside down. That's all right. <laughs> uh, this sold for $19.99, and this, uh, our friends that moved, we're selling for them. Where's it going? Um, that's a great question. That is going to Florida. Okay, we already have that Florida, one. sunny Florida. Okay. Next up, we got one clothing item. This is a black pair of jeans. Their White House Black Market jeans for ten dollars and thirty-four cents. Going to? Going to Utah. Uh, we do, we don't have that one. Yeah, there's one what right color? there. Utah. Let's see. Probably pink. 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 I think pink is the only one that would not be touching technically. Touching. All right. Let's talk a minute about Washington D.C. guys. Oh my goodness, you guys. So, so I asked a question in the last video about Washington, D.C. And the first response I got said, there's literally more population in Washington, D.C. than there is in Utah. Wyoming. Wyoming. So, yeah. And I thought, well, that I can't even argue that. That makes complete sense. So However. we're going to do Washington, D.C. Well, then somebody else commented and said, they said, and I'm summarizing here off memory, which ain't very good. If you live in Washington, D.C., you generally get a Maryland address unless you're a politician or you live in the hood. So. So what should we do? How likely is it that a politician is going to buy from us? Not very. And oh, no. I don't know how big the hood is. So I have decided just right now that Maryland counts. How about next time we get another Maryland, then we'll color in Washington, D.C.? Sure. Does that work? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's a valid point. If that's and the, the reason case, we have to know this is because I learned that my husband is going to do a drawing when we get the map full. I didn't decide that we were going to talk about it. Somebody suggested it. So we are. <laughs> yes. Um, so anyway, obviously we're not done with the map yet. So if you have any strong feelings on this one way or the other, let us know because we can be swayed, but we're not quite sure what to do with Washington, D.C. It's Maryland. All right, let's go. All right, Donna, box 39. In the 30s. 
I just listed this. Is this what it is? Uh, yes, I believe. Is that secret secret nail care collection? Yep. Yep, that's it right there. That sold for nineteen dollars ninety nine cents, and it's going to Las Vegas, Nevada. And if you have it listed anything because we've had this for a year and i finally listed it and it sold in like two days <laughs> so no matter what you have if you have it listed if there's one thing we've learned over the last three plus years it's if you don't list it it doesn't sell <laughs> all right next up we have the 700 dollars box buy out we have a couple books from upstairs i already grabbed them they actually are separate sales that were several hours apart but to the same person so they're going the same place oh wow First is this Baby Huey book, and that sold for $15, That's and that is going to Fort Worth, Texas. And then also going to Texas is this book right here, which is Casper, the Friendly Ghost, and this is for $22 to the same buyer, so nice. uh, they will get out the door. That may be the only things from upstairs from that buyout, but that's not the only sale from that buyout. We also have another sale from that buyout we're going to get to that is absolutely I've been dreading. But <laughs> I listed it and it sold. But first, I'm going to go to box G. And in box G, we have a Callaway head cover. This sold for $12.99. We got this uh, during Planes to Profit at the thrift store for a few bucks, and it's going to Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay, next up, you guys, this one is crazy. And this is the main reason I'm going to do another shipping video. Um, if you watch us and you've watched us for a little while, a few months ago I did the one thing I've been dreading listing I've had for so long and I finally listed it and it sold and that means that I have to ship it. Let me grab it. Up here residing just above our maps, I have some friends. The first friend is Mr. Pop and up with Mr. Pop. There's also a Mr. Crackle and their buddy that likes to hang out with them. There's also Mr. Snap. So Snap, Crackle, and Pop, and those sold. And now I have to ship them. So you may be wondering, how would you ship those, Steve? Stick around to the next video. Well, that's why I'm going to film another video. <laughs> we've had these. I know that we've had these since before we left Pepsi. And the reason why I know that is because what I'm going to ship them in, I got from Pepsi before I left there. So that'll be in the next video. But we are going to ship out Snap, Crackle, and Pop. They sold for $109.99. And they are going to, I believe, Wyoming. Yes, they are going to Wyoming. So Snap, Crackle, and Pop are... Finally listed, finally sold, and going out the door. Ruth asked me this morning if they were going to a good home. And I said, yep, probably. <laughs> probably. So we hope so. <laughs> yep. Hasta la vista, guys. <laughs> All right, let's make Donna work some more since she's been gone so much. <sighs> okay. Box 54, Donna. 54. Car 54. Is that a show? Where are you? You found it. You know what you're looking for. It's Idle. It's Idle Beanie. This came from Air Park. We did a kind of a pick in Air Park once. After an estate sale. After two estate sales and a garage sale, actually. And these are old Prosperity no, number 790 plastic train set made in Hong Kong. Uh, toys from a long, long, long time ago. Long, long. Time. And those right there sold for $14.50. And they are going to North Dakota. Ooh, that's a new one. Yes, it is. Okay, let me put them back in the baggie. Yellow. I think you have to go blue because you can't make Montana blue. Oh. So Montana would be yellow. So maybe okay. you have to go. Right? No, pink. I can do pink. Oh, yeah, we can do pink and then yellow. Yeah. Pink. Very good. Pink it is. Pink it is. All right, Donna, in the shoes category, we have Sokofi. Sokofi? I don't know. Handmade leather sandals. Right there. I thought these were really cool looking. That's why we picked them up. They're all leather. The flowers are leather. 
yeah pretty cool sandals they sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping and they are going to washington got that donna's fussing at me because i want to say the next thing that sold i'm dreading shipping but i don't think that's me being negative or poo pooing it's honest i didn't want to list these I didn't want to take offers on these. Grumpy pants. I don't want to ship them. Grumpy pants. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Sometimes some things are better than others. So this came from that $700 books and DVDs clean out. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it. I put it at a very fair price, what it normally sells for. It doesn't sell a lot of them. I put it at a fair price and I did not turn offers on. I thought if somebody wants this, they're going to pay that. And I'm going to make it like, okay, I'll ship it then. But I'm not going to like take a lowball offer for this. Because I really don't want to ship it, but now I have to. Why don't you want to ship it? <laughs> it's going to be two different boxes. Let's take a look. There's the first stack. Ooh, these are pretty. There's the next stack. And there's the third stack. Look at that. Just because they're half as tall as you. Oh my goodness. They weigh a ton. <laughs> they are Time Life books. Uh, some Western Time Life, the Old West Time Life books. Um, this whole lot of books. So I'm going to do two separate packages and mail them out. What'd they sell for? They sold for $149.99 wow. plus $50 shipping. Wow. We just did a flat rate shipping. That's what a lot of the other ones that had sold had done. So I just copied it and I thought, let's just let it sit until somebody wants it. Well, apparently somebody wants it. So I'm gonna have to look and see where it's going. Okay. That is 26 books, it says. And they are going to North Carolina. So. We got that one. Away they'll go. Okay. <laughs> Donna hasn't had the camera for a while, so she's having some fun. Uh, Donna in box O. O. The big O. Oklahoma. Not going to Oklahoma. Oh. Uh, this is little American Girl doll violin with case and music stand. This is super cute, you guys. Some little girl is going to love this. It's a violin with a bow and the rosin and the stand for the music. Pretty cool, huh? That sold for $16.99. Isn't that sweet? And that is going to Oregon. <clears throat> Next item is from the glass buyout, we call it. And that's like a couple years ago. Yeah. And it's in box LV. All right, Box LV, we're looking for Churchill Blue Willow Coffee and Tea Cups. It's a set of five cups. There you go. You want to see? Yeah, let's take them. I take them out to ship them anyway. We'll just take one out here. It is Aren't this right here. There's five of those in the set. Um, that's from Glass Buyout. Sold for $18.39. And it's going to Florida. Hey, Donna. Why don't you grab box LP and let's see if there's something in there that sold. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we got a... Just bring it out here. We got a bunch of boxes from my cousin, which I really appreciate. So it's a mess again, but I will use them. So this is Amy's fault. Amy, thank you for making a mess in my basement. <laughs> we do appreciate it. All right, Donna. Anything in there that might have sold? Finally, you guys, I, I learned my lesson <laughs> and I took the offer. So your first offer was for $120. Yes. Your second offer was for $121. Yes. And then you got an offer, we believe, from the same person for $115. Thank you for <laughs> offering again, you guys, because I was stubborn. Um, yeah, so she took the $115. But it's beautiful. And, and the really it's cool. It's beautiful. Elsie the Cow Head Bank. From Borden's Dairy. Uh, that sold for $115. And it is headed to New York. New York, New York City. It's too bad that sold because honestly, that would have made a good addition to our backdrop since the wagon sold. We had to change that up a little bit. 
All right, down in box A A. This is just you're gonna find in there a memory card. Why? Why? Because it takes cardboard to ship, honey. But break it down and make it flat. No, because I don't know what sizes they are. Listen to her trying to run my my department. <laughs> This was at a garage sale in a free box, and it is a 32 gigabyte. Nice, nice use of the stand there. Uh, 32 gigabyte storage memory card, and it sold for $10.35, and it is going to New York as well. Oh. Next up is the Bolo of the Day, and we ran a seven day auction on it. Oh my goodness. And we <laughs> what is this, Steve? We paid 50 cents for it. And if you've watched our videos, you know what it is. Uh, we're going to box number 34. Can I get a drum roll? All right, if you watch our videos, you know what this is. It is the vintage Lakers hat. And this, and it has a couple issues. It's missing the tag, it's dingy, and it has a little melted spot on the strap here, snapback strap. But the seven day auction ran, and we got this 50 cents at garage sale and it sold for $189.50. And, and I even checked to see if the buyer has good feedback. The buyer has great feedback and they paid for it. And it is going to Florida. And yes, it will be packaged in a box safely. Not throwing this in a poly bag. I don't throw poly hats in poly bags yeah, anyway. Say, you don't do that. But anyway, $189.50 on auction. Hands. So jazz hands. So that's fun. We just need more of those, Donna. I, you found it. If Donna no. could just find more of those yeah. hats and more gold, you know, stuff like that. I point them out great. to you and he just poo poos all my ideas. Maybe because the- <gasps> Whoa! Don't want to hurt my friends. You get them, push them back up closer, you'll get them with your big my old friends. feeties. <laughs> my friends need to get to Wyoming. I got one more thing and then uh, three more things for Donna here. So I'm gonna go to box 89. Hmm, who made this big mess? Amy did it. Amy did it. <laughs> and we love it. All right, in here we got a Hallmark ornament again. It's probably this one, yep, right here. He's a Santa keepsake ornament. He's a train toy maker <laughs> Santa with a race car set, that's what it is. That sold for $14 and it's going to Wisconsin is already on the board okay before we go on there was something i wanted to bring up earlier and i forgot but we're going to do it anyway because those of you that watch all the way through you will appreciate it what we got a youtube comment and usually when we get youtube comments we try to make sure the other person sees them all the time what did you see um and i didn't see it but donna responded to it <laughs> and i absolutely loved her response the comment to me was like Kind of funny and her response was absolutely perfect let me read the comment here is the comment from we won't even we won't even say who it's say from it, do, it doesn't matter anyway it says dude your life is rough you flip few dollars in items that's very rough while some traders slip thousands or millions in hours lol our life is rough because we're because why because we flip a few dollars on items very rough while some traders flip thousands or millions in hours not that she didn't read a good but i'm just processing that again so here i have a response so first of all i saw donna's response she had already responded and when i saw it i'm like i love it i absolutely love it go ahead donna with your response i said thanks for your comment every sale is a blessing to us because <laughs> it is and i thought that was perfect because well, there, I have a lot of thoughts on this, but I'll, I'll make it uh -oh. short. He's got a lot of thoughts, which means he's got a lot of words. I love my life. <laughs> I love what we do. You know what? There are people flipping and, you know, turning millions of dollars and thousands of dollars every day. Absolutely. There are. And to do that, you have to have. Lots you have to have employees. You have to have employees. You have to have employees. You could be day traders. You have to have the money to invest in the know-how and the skill. You have to have opportunities that maybe we don't have here. And maybe we do, but I don't know about them. Either way, all those people that are flipping thousands and millions of dollars, 
congratulations that's awesome here's what i'm going to say about my life being rough doing this and flipping things for you know we get over a hundred dollar sale and we're like woo, we're super excited and you know what i'm okay with it because what we used to do i am not going to say i hated my old job but i was there for 16 years and my life day in day out i was angry i was angry about things that my customers wouldn't if do you think he's a poo pooer now you oh yeah seen him then. i literally lived my life angry because i didn't necessarily hate my job there were certain people i had to deal with that were lazy i'm a good worker once i get going i like to be lazy but once i get going i'm a good worker and i feel like i was a good employee i know i was a good employee for a lot of years until they kind of crushed my spirits but anyway I was angry every single day and on Sundays, starting at about four or five in the afternoon, I would get super depressed because I had to go back to work on Monday and the I just Sunday blues. Does anybody have those? Yeah. Or the my our daughter calls it the scary Sundays. Yeah. And that's that was my life. Every single day I'd go to work and I'd be angry. And there was a guy that I worked with and we'd call each other just to vent so we wouldn't try to bring it home. But I knew I brought it home a lot. So you know what? We're doing this and we're only flipping, you know. $15 items and $100 items or whatever, but I'm very, very happy. I absolutely love my life. I love working with my wife. I love spending time with her. We get along great and we are able to do this. Not a lot of people can say that. Aww. So the fact that my life is rough because I'm not getting rich and I'm not flipping thousands and millions of dollars, I don't care. Do you know what I got to say about that? What do you got to say about that? It's not about the money, honey, because this week I got to spend the week with my mom and I didn't do much as far as the business goes. I sold 50 items one day. The rest of the time I spent with my mom and we planted plants and we worked on cup cozies and we talked and we visited and we went out to the cemetery and put flowers on dad's grave and remembered my brother and we had family time and when you put the things that are important first god takes care of the rest because we had an amazing week of sales he stayed home and worked the business but we didn't list but 147 things this week and we had a record sales week and she didn't have to ask for that time off of work and let me check the vacation board and then come back to, well, you left this mess and now you have to fix all these problems, whatever. She came back and she can step right back into it. And I just did what I could while she was gone. And that's what we do when I take little trips or she takes little trips. We don't have to get permit. There's so many benefits <laughs> to this. Is the money great? Did I wouldn't you get say the your money's slip great. In to request your time off. Yeah, I would not say the money's great. Did you do your work before you left? Yeah. Well, yeah, that. I remember. Seriously, one time our kids had the flu or whatever when they were really little, and Donna had stayed home two days, Monday and Tuesday, and I went to my bosses and I said, and this was I was not a manager at this time. I was just a peon employee, and I went to my boss and I said. My wife has stayed home the last two days. She really has to go in tomorrow. I need tomorrow off. And my boss told me, I'm not naming any names or anything. My boss told me, well, you need to talk to your wife and she needs to understand that we need you here. Like they didn't need her at her job at her company where she worked then, first of all. And second of all, you know, they all, they'll, they'll tell you all, all these companies will tell you about how we're a family and your family comes first. That was, you know, family didn't come first there. And second of all, you know what I did? He says, well, you can have that day off, but you have to run all of your Wednesday stuff on Thursday with your Thursday too. So I had to do a double day in order to stay home with sick, with my sick little kids. So my life might be rough because I'm not getting rich. I'm not raking in the dough, but We've done this for three but years our now. Our life is rich. Our life is very rich. We've done this for three years now, and somehow we've managed to still make the house payment. We're still keeping on, keeping on. We have no plans of changing that. So if monetarily you think my life is rough because of the money, then I would say maybe your priorities are not that in line. And that's fine. If that's your priorities, hey, that's great. I hope that you do great. I don't wish any ill will on anybody but, but i'm telling you out, you're missing out on the richness of life so 
that's our that's Rant our two over. cents on that. So we wanted to cover that because it's really important to me because I'm not mad about the comment no. because that was not the first time somebody else commented on one of my shorts once because I was shipping at 10 at night so I could take my kid to a concert that next day or something like that. And they're like, oh, man, I hope I don't turn out like you. You know what? And I don't even know what it meant. But, you know, mm. I love my life. So I, I don't let the haters get to me. And we don't get many haters on here. But you know what? That's great. If monetary and money is what you're striving for and that's your priority, then go get it. I'm all for it. I'm not going to say that's a bad thing. Yeah. But at this stage in our life, to be able to do this, uh, we don't feel like our life is rough at all. All right. Should we get the last couple yeah. things? <laughs> okay. Wait one second. Oh. <laughs> Public service announcement. Donna has an announcement. Right after that, somebody said... They said, keep up the hustle. Great video. It was somebody else. So, so thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you means, for subscribing and all of that stuff. That means the world to us. That means that person saw that person's comment and then they clicked on to see the response for us. So that's basically somebody saying, hey, supporting us. Hey, great job, guys. So thank that's you. That's awesome. Thank we love it. That. Okay, Donna, back to work. Back to work. Enough, enough rambling and talking. You need to go to box 96. Well, you need to... Tell you where to go. <laughs> and I mean box 96. Moo. Did you just moo? No, the cow did. 96. This is some Corel Chutney. We did the big one the other day with 18 plates. Now, now we, we just have the leftovers. Yeah, now we have four plates. Uh, two of this size. Luncheon and, size. And two dinner size. Yeah. Those sold for $16, and they're going to Alabama. Alabama. Do we have a crimson Ooh. marker for the crimson tide? Crimson. I say we don't color them anything near crimson because the heck with Alabama. No, we watch CK Treasures and they have a baby oh, yeah, girl we do named like CK. Crimson. Okay, that's true. I was thinking football. Football does not matter. You're being dumb. All right, what color we got? what color are we going? Probably orange. Yep. Orange it is in Alabama. And if you guys haven't watched CK Treasures, watch them. Yeah, They're we, awesome. We like them. All right, next up in box 39, Donna. All right, you're looking for 1983 Cherry Chipmunk. Cherry Chipmunk. It's a, no, 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 it's a, a... Oh, oh. I just listed him. Just listed him. Current brand Cherry Chipmunk. Vintage, what do you call it, a cross stitch? This is a needlepoint needle kit. Needlepoint. Cruel, Thir actually. Cruel picture. Cruel. Cruel? Cruel. 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 Okay, cruel. Uh, this sold for $13.79 and it is going to Connecticut. And the last thing, Donna... Oh. On the shelf, it's Tupperware, set of eight. Here, let me move your box. <laughs> <laughs> Violence is not the answer. Violence is never the answer. <laughs> Violence sometimes is the answer. Uh, this is a set of eight divided tray lunch plates. From Tupperware. From Tupperware. And where'd you get them? Um, I bought them. Bought them? Okay. Somewhere. I got them from an estate sale from Wombat Joe. Okay. And they are going to Texas, and they sold for $32.99. Turn around. Right Turn here. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit. Whoa. One, There's two, three, more. four, five, six, seven, eight more different colors of the very same type of tray. Yeah, $32.99. Okay. All right, cool. That's it. That's, That's it. everything. Uh, I guess we can't go until Donna colors. <gasps> Got color. Okay, while Donna's coloring, I'm going to uh, just remind you. So when we're done with this, I'm actually going to go make this video, put it out today because post office isn't open today. And then I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to ship. I'm going to package all this and I'm going to film all that, do another how I ship things. I'm not saying I do it right. I'm not saying I'm the best at it or anything, but I'm just going to show, especially with the Snap, Crackle, Pop and the big old books. He's pretty cute to watch. And the stuff. My wife's a goof. 
Um, but I'm going to make that video, so that one probably will come out uh, Wednesday or so. Are you done coloring yet? No! Okay. I'm, I'm working on it. She doesn't want me to watch her and film her color, so I'm not. All right, there is our updated board. So what do we got left, Donna? We got Mississippi, Louisiana, and Montana, and Alaska. Ooh, and we got Vermont, Vermont and New Hampshire. And you're saying we do not have Washington, D.C.? I think we do, because we got Maryland and it's right there. So you're saying we already have it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well... Like I said earlier, if you have strong feelings about that, be fair to share them, but I don't really know which way to go on that. And if you live in Alaska, Montana, Louisiana, Mississippi, Vermont, and New Hampshire, feel free to peruse our store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially Alaska. Alaska might be tough. We have sold several things to Alaska, but it's not very often, but we'll get something Luke, out there. Luke, call your friends from Alaska. Yeah, really. Wait, he has a friend from Alaska that watches our channel. Hi! Yeah. Buy something, please. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. We are going to go. I'm going to go make this video. Donna's going to go in the garage and get to work. Working. Work, work, work. It's my favorite thing to do. All right, thank you all for watching. We like and subscribe, share with your friends. You. Um, we yeah. do appreciate you, especially if you're still watching now. Yeah. So if you watched all the way to the end, comment the end. Yeah, the end. We're Happy Art Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. See you next time. Bye. I can spin us if we're not exactly level. I just want to do like a... Can we get closer? Do, do a... <laughs> I'll pull something from that. We'll make it work.